what's going on everybody welcome to another video welcome to the channel now this video is a tough one for me to do matter of fact full disclosure i went away from youtube for a while and i came back and um when i came back i did mention to many of you who have been sticking with me this whole time that i was doing some soul searching and one of the reasons why i went into the soul searching was because of the uvalde shooting the uvalde shooting involved children and, and two uh teachers that actually gave their life in trying to save the kids but you know they died trying to save the kids and i got a little bit emotional regarding this particular um situation and um i wondered how i would make a video regarding it without actually taking attention away from the children and the families of the children and the teachers that actually died and when it comes to children i get a little bit more emotional than normal when i hear about these shootings and so it makes it really difficult for me to make videos about this but i stood by and you know i watched how stories unfold and how people were treating this story and i was kind of like disgusted regarding how a lot of people treated it both from the right from the left because i saw people on the right first of all there was a photo that was circulating and people were uh talking about that the shooter was a leftist transgender person you know that wears dresses that came over to the school and did the shooting and even one gop congressman i was so disgusted tweeted about it and was attacking the left using these photos that were the alleged shooters but turns out that the photo was dubbed from just a transgender tiktoker who was just minding their own business matter of fact there was a couple of photos that were circulating of people that actually look like this guy but they weren't the one so these were people politicizing the death of children shamelessly and it, it disgusted me i wanted to make a video about it but that would have taken attention away from the kids the people that this thing happened to and i was really distraught so i just kept quiet but what also disgusted me was on the left we had a former president actually taking time out to tweet about this rather than show you know empathy towards the people that this thing happened to right instead came out and started tweeting about people need to also not forget that this was the same time that George Floyd died two years ago. So they should take time out to remember George Floyd. Literally. Are you serious? Are you, is there something wrong with this world where a leader would tweet something so tone deaf, so, so ridiculous, but we do live in a ridiculous world. But that's what I saw and I was like, how am I going to make videos and talk about this thing? And I just, I just got confused. Honestly speaking, I got confused because we've lost it as a society, as a people in this world, where when things like this happen, we just find opportunities to attack people or, you know, defend people by reason of our politics, rather than actually being human beings for one second. I even saw one of my favorite YouTubers who happens to be a former police officer, some of you might know who he is, was defending the Uvalde police, was defending them tooth and nail that they, first of all, didn't have, you know, the right equipment to actually go inside the school or the classroom to go and shoot this guy. And that there weren't enough of them there because the first photos that were released were photos of two police officers just hiding at a corridor. Right, we didn't see much from those photos, and they were defending them, regardless of the fact that there were officers on ground who said it was a botched operation. There were people, parents, who said it was a botched operation. That these people stood for an hour, 13 minutes or so, twiddling their thumbs while this shooting was going on, did nothing whatsoever. Now, the footage is out, and guys, it doesn't look good at all. It doesn't look good at all. Like literally you could see police officers, they were standing in the hallway. While this shooting was going on, some of them were seen running away from where the shooting was going on. Now they said they didn't have tactical gears. They didn't have the equipment to go in there. But from this footage, you could see clearly that they had tactical gears. One of the things that this other police officer was defending them with was that there are two different situations. When it comes to shooting, there's a barricade situation and there's an active shooter situation. And when it's an active shooter situation, 
you 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 can go in there but when it becomes a barricaded situation you you have to wait or the other way around i can't really remember how he was explaining this thing defending these people even though everybody else knew the police officers they botched it but when you look at this footage somebody found footages of everything from the beginning of when the shooter crashed into the school and the shooter went inside it's an 82 minutes footage but some of the clips that are out there you will see police officers actually just loitering around just loitering while shooting was going on like standing there was even a footage of a police officer going to go and get a hand sanitizer hand sanitizer when kids were being shot there were two police officers that i would give a pass in this whole thing one of them was the one that the optics looks really bad he was actually checking his phone but the reason is because his wife was one of the teachers whose life was lost during the shooting and so he was trying to reach out to her and that's why he kept on checking his phone he was actually stopped from going in to go and try to save his wife so was another deputy police chief police chief deputy the daughter was in there and they were actually restraining him or stopping him some of the police officers when they go there and there was a police officer that was say wait wait you can't go in there like seriously these were children children and your police officers meant to save lives protect lives at all costs that was your choice serve and protect isn't that what they swore to do and the worst part is the mayor came out to say that they leaked this so that they can make the police officers look bad what are you talking about your police officers are bad not that they look bad they're bad they didn't do anything how do you expect people to want to depend on police officers now right how do you expect people seeing this and think that police officers would protect them they would want to protect themselves from now on because it doesn't look like those police officers can defend them or save anybody's life now for some places they might not be the same to be honest with you because i've seen many many other videos with police officers being heroes putting their life on the line saving people's lives police officers who are courageous they are out there but these ones these ones are the kind of police officers that i would expect someone like lebron james to say accountability these are the type that people should be calling for accountability when it comes to these police officers because me personally i believe they need to be fired and not worthy of wearing a badge to serve and protect because that's the job of a police officer serve and protect in the line of duty that's what you sign up for now, i know many of you can say oh you're not a police officer so you can't know this and that and you're not being human you're not trying to put yourself in their shoes i can understand that but i didn't sign up to be a police officer they signed up to be a police officer that's the job that's what they signed up for serve and protect that's the key motto of every police officer that's your first job it's the same way i talked about medical doctors who refuse to treat people because they didn't take the vaccine your job is to do no harm and save lives and then you refuse to save a life because they refuse to adhere to some policy what sort of cuckoo for cocoa puff land are we living in world not just land world are we living in it's unfortunate and it pains me and i'm just totally appalled and it's 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 really 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 sickening and I just want to say before I end this, because honestly, I, I, I'm lost for words. But I want to say rest in peace to those children and those two brave teachers. My heart goes out to all of the people that lost someone in that shooting. And thoughts and prayers to those people and the people of Uvalde because they are still going through more and more pain as it were. Anyways, you guys, let me know what you think about this whole thing i'm appalled i'm sickened but let me know what you think in the comment section below thank you guys for bearing with me i just wanted to vent and um yeah that's it for this one take care and i'll see you guys on the next one